All right, guys, we're going to do an AGS delete here. Start off by pulling the upper shroud cover off. They are tight sometimes. Got four 10, mm, 10 millimeter bolts to put the top of the drill in. <clears throat> These grills have four tension retainers. You should be real careful when you're pulling them out. Use a flathead screwdriver so you don't break any tabs off. The tops and then the bottoms. Set your drill off to the side for now. And then for the AGS system itself, you're going to have two 13 millimeter bolts towards the top of it. You're going to have two 10 millimeter bolts towards the bottom. Just let those fall, they'll fall right into the, the bumper cover. Don't forget to get them later on. And here is the AGS system. Back side of your AGS system here. Just un unclip your wire. You got two 10 millimeter bolts holding the AGS motor. In. Plug it. Here's your AGS system. Throw it in the trash. Take the motor over to the workbench. Very first things first with the motor, mark your arm. So if it falls out, you know exactly where it was. We are going to be changing positions in the arm, which is a very critical step. So what we're going to do now, sometimes it's difficult, take two screwdrivers, very easily undo the clips. They can be a pain.
That's one side of the case. Here's the second side of the case. The case is going to split apart. And then we're going to take, pull this assembly out. This is a very critical step. Take your motor arm, pull it out, move it over one gear so the arm is sitting straight up and down. You can take a razor blade. Be very careful. These pins are hard. Cut these pins off. These are called locator pins. They break pretty easy too, so get a pretty good score on it. Now you're going to take your motor, put it back into the housing, <coughs> put your case back together. You're going to take an 1164 drill bit. You're going to drill straight through. What that's doing is that's creating a hole through the back side of the case. A spot for the screws to come in to hold the motor limiter into place. Now that we've done that, re split the case one more time. You should keep your arm straight up and down. Didn't need to split the case that time because I moved the arm. I forgot that. My bad. Take your limiter and your screws here. I always use just a small drop, or I'm going to suggest a small drop of thread locker. <coughs> High strength, medium strength, it doesn't really matter. It'll hold it. It's a small screw. Motor limiter is going to sit right here on the case. However, you need to do a very slight modification. These little veins right here, trim those flush. And one more step. I do remember why I was going to split the case now. Don't stab yourself with a screwdriver. Pull your case back apart. The inside little prong here, you file it down just a touch. This is just a regular old 80 grit sanding block from Home Depot. Good, you want to take about an eighth inch material off that. Line up your marks and then go one notch over so your arm is going to be sticking straight up. Slap your case back together.
Make sure you've got a good, nice flat area to work with right here. Check everything, make sure everything's going to clear. Another easy way to trim, use a Dremel. That'll ensure you've trimmed it right the first time, not have to go back and do it a second time. Once you've decided there's enough clearance between the arm and the limiter itself, go ahead and just put your limiter on there. And you're going to use the supplied screws and a 330 seconds Allen wrench. But before we do that, you're going to use a countersink very lightly on the back side of the case. Taper these holes a bit. Taper those holes just a touch. You can get a countersink from any local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and run your screws in. 332nd Allen wrench. You want your screws just about flush with the limiter itself. Don't over tighten them. It doesn't need to be Hulk tight. Just kind of give it a couple nudges so you know it's not going anywhere. And there you have it. AGS limiter. The motor limiter is installed. So now the new stopping point is going to be right here on the housing and then the arm's going to con contact the piece itself. Now when you go to put it back on the truck simply plug it back in. The arm may move, it may not move, sometimes it does. Take your wire, you can really tuck this wire anywhere, you can put the, the limiter anywhere, the wire is super long. Tuck your wire into lower core support, zip tie it out of the way, tape it out of the way, whatever, whatever you feel is necessary. You can take the factory screw and run it back into this hole right here if you wish. Keep the housing right there. And if you really feel it's necessary, you have to have a zip tie that's three feet long, of course, just through this hole right here. Just kind of keeps the housing intact. That'll pretty much stay right there. Now, if you want to, I didn't include them in the kit because they're expensive, but you can use 
half inch spacers behind here and behind here. You'll have to drill a 1164 hole and you can use one of the factory bolts and it'll actually thread itself into the core support. There you have it. AGS limiter install.